guys, I'm the Lightbulb guy with another straight to the point tutorial. Today we will talk about menus. If you want to create custom menus, horizontal or vertical, sidebar menus, drop down menus or responsive menus, this video will show you how to do all these for free. If you're searching for something else, write in a comment, I may create another video for it. Alright, before we begin with the menus, I want to invite you to join our community and double your website's revenue no matter how you are monetizing it. It's free, but the results are real. To join, click in the center of this video. So menus. First, I want to cover what you can do with your menus without plugins. Then I'll show you some nicely done free plugins for more features. If you don't know how to install a plugin, click here to watch my video explaining this and then continue watching this one. By default, WordPress is inserting links to your pages in the navigation. However, this may be very inappropriate if you have more than 5 pages. So if you just want to create custom menu, you can go to Appearance, Menus and here you can edit your existing menu or create a new one. Give it a name and click Create Menu. Then just start adding items to it. You can add any page, category or insert a custom link. Then you can customize the order or insert one menu tab under another so it will be a drop down menu. Now you have a new menu in your WordPress database which you can insert in theme locations or plugins. Go to manage locations to see where your theme has the option to insert a menu and choose which one should be there. If you want to insert a sidebar menu on your website but you can't find it here, you can go to appearance, widgets and search for navigation menu, custom menu or something like that. If you have one, just drag and drop it in your widget area. If you don't have such widget available, you can install the sidebar menu widget plugin to get one. If you want to create a vertical menu like this one or like this one, you can install the WordPress menu vertical plugin for the first one and the jQuery vertical mega menu plugin for the second one. To configure the WordPress menu vertical plugin, go to the folder menu tab in your dashboard. You can edit the colors and the fonts. However, you only have three available fonts. Use Verdana for best readability. To configure the second one, go to Appearance, Widgets and drag and drop the jQuery vertical mega menu in the widgets area. Choose your settings and click Save. If you want to create a responsive menu or mobile menu for your site like this one, I suggest you check out the WP Responsive Menu plugin. It's free and it can be customized easily. You can edit the colors, insert logo and choose the width of the screen needed to display this menu. One nice thing is that you can hide the other menu when this happens. All you need is to enter the CSS class or ID for the menu. You can find this in the code of your team. However, for most teams, it will be something like .nav or hashtag main dash menu. Thank you for watching this video. Hit the thumbs up button if you find it helpful. Also, subscribe to my channel for more straight to the point WordPress tutorials. And if you are still not a member of my course, join free now and start increasing the revenue of your WordPress website today. See you there.